hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll be creating this beautiful look with you all don't forget to subscribe like share leave a comment so basically i had the brows done um in another video so i'm starting off with my elegant pro concealer in the shade toffee and i'm using my real technical brush to apply that to my crease So next, I'll be taking my Tara palette and I'll be applying that shade from there and I'll be applying that to my crease, also with a real technique brush. After that, I went ahead with the shade from the palette and I applied it above the um, previous shadow and you just want to make sure it's blended even you don't want any harsh line whatsoever so make sure it blend you take your time and blend so i went ahead to take a powder shade from the beauty glaze palette and i just use that to blend out my shadows So next, I'm taking my LA Pro Concealer and with a flat brush, I'll be using that to apply it to the center of my lid to kind of create like a halo effect. So next, I went back in with the purple shade and I blended it in to the halo effect I already created. Taking my Beauty Glaze palette, I took a gold shimmer shade from there and I applied it to the concealer base. And I was actually shocked about the pigmentation. So next, I went in with um, a little bit of glitter, gold glitters. So next, I went ahead to apply my eyeliner. And I wanted nothing to be dramatic, so it's just like a little wing liner. So basically we are done with the eye makeup, moving to the face, I went in with my ZK Mattifying Primer alongside the Makeup Magnesia as a primer also. And I just, you know, apply that all over the face. So next, taking my classic HD foundation, my black opa stick foundation, I just mixed the two and I applied it to my face. And I went in with a stiffening brush and I just blended that into my skin to give me this even blend. Take your time and blend. Always take your time when it comes to your face blend. So next, I went with my Elegant Pro Concealer to highlight my face. Just highlight the basic places you would normally highlight. And I went with my Black Opacic Foundation to serve as my contour. So just contour the areas you would normally contour. And this is a blended look. Then next, I went in to bake my face. After which, I took the Decal powder palette and I blended the whole thing into my skin then next I went in to apply blush to my cheekbones after which I took the Febo cosmetic glow kit and I just applied that to my cheekbones also using a real second brush So next, I went ahead to highlight my brow bone, after which I blended my whole face with a powder brush, then I moved to the lip stick process. So I just outlined my lip shape with a brow pencil. After which I took a nude um, lipstick and applied that to the middle of my lips and I just marked my lips in to blend it. So at this point I felt my lips were looking a bit too pale. I decided to apply a bit of pink to the middle of my lips but then I decided to go over it again with the same nude. Then when I was done with that I applied lip gloss 
you know, the lips has to be glossy. Thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching because I enjoyed making this video. So, hope you were able to learn one or two things from this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to like this video, leave a comment below, and also share to friends or families. See you next time. Bye. Stay safe, guys.